the, I, I must say, the very first time the, uh, the, they played at midfield and went blind again, and the support was just late to clean, you know, and if your inside cleaner is late early in the game and they steal them and poach a ball there, you're already on the back foot. And then uh, Joel, the line was concerned to me, you know, they, they had three locks. Yeah. One of them with Van Staden, them out, they played... Uh, uh, for the combination with three, and then that line out, the poor uh, Ivan had to do some wicket keeping there, you know. Uh, it was really, he could have fallen on that ball, but I think he takes a lot of flack now for not having a great game, but it all starts up front. You know, if you from the top there, just throw it any direction and tell the scrum off, make your own arrangements, it, it becomes tough. But I must say, strat you know, the kicking worried me a bit. Uh, who, every time we just hit it up, uh, uh, Smith was not on song, you know. Uh, he was. I he don't know. Battered and bruised before the game. What like happened there? My, I don't know what happened there. I could see it in his eyes. And then the the, the nets there. I had to look it up. My wife had to look it up. That's all those little mughies flying around. The guys was hitting mughies up and down. So it, it looked like a irritated <clears throat> side, you know. And suddenly there's crowds, and and the ref one or two <clears throat> fifty fifty calls just where you think might go their way. I'm not looking for excuses, yeah. but you know when you start same with the golf game, you start with your first drive hit it in the bush, and now to try and cover so there that's a, such a bad defensive lab there from Adoshi who just should have stayed on yeah. his on his man yeah. and, and 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 you know once again even the setting of the the mall they hire they it's not pumping the legs like we used to do they do normally this yeah. is very smart of Madosh as, as, as you know smelling that one and scoring talking about Madosh man you know if he's falling back and and teams see that Joel and they kick on him, they sort of exploit them like we did with the big New Zealand guys. You know, you know, every time I should keep, I, if I was them, I would keep my dosh up front and use 10 and 15 at the back with the sweeper from sale. I wouldn't uh, let him be exposed at the back there. This for me, uh, just on my wrap up with this game, for me, this was the turning point. Just before half time, uh, penalty try plus the yellow card, and they were tails up already. No, yeah. that's, that's the kicking strategy, Nick, that I discussed with you yeah. earlier. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If, if Madoz is under pressure at the back there, it sort of is, it, it gets a bit uh, lonely there at the back. <clears throat> but, but Swayze, if you look at that, I mean, you're seeing, uh, you're seeing a really good uh, try scored out wide. Have a look. This is running across, but he's beating a forward. Really good finish by Padovani here in between players. But Garbisi has made that. And uh, that cross kick of his was absolutely perfect to Ioni on the wing and the little pass inside to the flank forward. Um, you know, there was the, they contested in the line-out, so they caused mm. chaos and uh, poured through on, on the scrum-off on Ivan van Zayl, who was under pressure. He, he should have dotted it down, but, you know, you, 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 try, you, know, you think you can flick it away. And, and suddenly there are four tries and a penalty, uh, a penalty try down, and it's a big, it's a big hiding. So uh, uh, what surprised me was the fact that they were able to handle the Bulls' scrum so easily. Um, that they, that they gave them very few lineouts. They didn't kick the ball out. Or if they did kick it out, they kicked it out mainly in the opposition, in, in the Bulls 22, and then contested the lineouts. And then uh, their, um, uh, their line speed was outstanding because the Bulls were playing off nine all the time. True. So, you know, they got off the line, leg tackled and poached but as quickly as possible. You're so right. But what we miss as well, they went from edge to edge very yep. effectively and very quickly. Yep. What do you do with the Bulls if you want to beat them? You take them on in their game. It's a long day. But they stretch them so well. You stretch them and turn them. Stretch them and turn them. And, and you know, that's what normally happens there. But that's what I said with... With a fly off there, caught under pressure there, and now it's panic stages. Again, look where they've got to play the whole game. They're not used to it. They're used to playing down and you're off. Now suddenly they've got to try and survive for 80 minutes. Uh, even at, you know, looking at Marcel dropping this okay. ball and not catching a ball from the kickoff, that's not the Marcel we know. Now it's almost they shoot your Goliath, your new captain, your big guy, he's rattling. So, and you don't have a more no, there's not other role players. Don't get me wrong, I rate Marcel. So, so, so let me ask you this, when the, the defensive line is coming up as quickly as this, how do you change it? What do you do differently? Yeah, you see, that's the thing. You've got to maybe change direction a bit, come a bit closer. Where? Look at the new spaces. Where's the new... Like, there they're rushing now. But if they change direction, there is always a, some catch-up defender not in that rush line. So what they did, yeah, the Bulls, they rushed the Bulls and the Bulls didn't adapt. Solo runners behind the game line. Yeah. Solo runners behind the game line and there was no variation maybe look there in the behind the rock there's space so it's just pick and go a bit 
That's just change point. direction. But, yeah, but they're also making good tackles. As much as yeah. you're getting line speed, they're making leg tackles at line speed. So it's hard to get momentum, especially when you've got one off runners. So that's why I keep saying that they did their homework, realizing that the Bulls, they probably get so many carries off nine. How many times do you see the forwards passing, looking at the option behind the back? And all of that. So every time they got that, then once you make a leg tackle, what happens next? The poachers and you're getting slow ball. The lines up again. They keep coming back. So it becomes a hard day in terms of getting momentum. Where the Bulls were good was off lineouts, where they could use fun start and off Cornell mm. Hendrick short. They get behind you. Forwards coming around the corner. Then you can't get line speed because they've gotten f fast ball off the first track. But now they didn't do that. They struggled. They didn't have any lineouts. So that's they had no was attacking yeah, They had no attacking yeah. lineouts. So that's taken away from them, which was their biggest strength. So they could do that. Once you start watching the vacuum, they start mauling you. Then it's mm -hmm. hard to stop the maul because you're worried around that. So they could play around with the lineouts. I think where it fell apart was the kicking game, where the, the young Italian flower mm -hmm. just kept pinning them back the whole time, pinning them back. Yeah. And also the balls have got passive defensively quite passive yeah, so you true. can get around it yeah. they turn shoulders uh, is it Sebastian Cut. maybe the, the, yeah. the flanker yeah, yeah. every time we come running onto that ball and we just dominate he but touched on Gobisi but his yeah. kicking game was absolutely outstanding have a look at the, at the no, next one but the there guys one. it was from a kickoff and no yeah. one catches no, it no, over Marcel Z but if you look at this no, next scrum which is coming up I think just now you'll see uh, that this is a, 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 yes. a real clever example they move the ball to, as though they're going to the left. That's the Bulls winger who's come across to cover for the fullback who takes the last man. Yeah. And Gobisi left footed knows there's a space there. Kicks straight into the space. It's a line out in your 22 under pressure again. So their kicking game worked very, very well. I mean, this was an exceptional catch and a very good little pop inside. I mean, everything worked for them. They played, they played, but listen, give them another so thing smart. we need to give them credit for. They thought, they planned really well for this. Everything worked for them. But there was much more enthusiasm from them than there was from the Bulls. When I say enthusiasm, you look at the, at the, at the contact situations. Guys getting off the floor, the, the work without the ball, getting back into position. Your two guys back, Haywood was outstanding at the back, you know, c catching any, everything that the yeah. Bulls kicked for him and, and, and kicking it back with interest. So uh, the Bulls just didn't look on song. And, and, and I think... For Mielin in the middle of that lineout, he's so crucial to their driving malls, you know. He's so crucial to their defensive uh, lineout as well, the way in which he reads lineouts. And, and Lowe is a big uh, uh, um, unit who's, who gets across the advantage line as his fun started. And then, of course, you're missing Stain, who uh, is, is a very good kicker. And he might have thought about putting little chips over the back, because when you're getting rushed defence, and the, line, and, the, and the scrum off it was pressing as well, so Duvenaga was press, uh, pressing as well, there was space just uh, just behind their line. There's always space if, if, you, if yeah, you've got yeah. a fly off, you can We always speak it. about the five spaces. You ask me, what do you do with the rush defence? They, they, if they rush here, there might be disconnection there. Or the winger might... There's always one of the spaces available, and they couldn't adapt. But what I did love about, about Gabisi and the, and the Benetton side, Joel, what I really loved about them, how they varied their kick. That one kick was straight mm. away from the line-out, as Nick showed there, straight into the space there behind. And the Bulls turn around again. The other time, Divenacht kicked it twice. And now suddenly, I thought they're going to do a back peel of the, of, the, of, the, of the mall there. And what does he do? He kicks a cross kick. So Madosh is, is, yeah. was caught napping there again. So they ID'd the spaces the whole time. Yeah. 